I think that um, that it's easy to say that, yeah, I'm just acting what I'm programmed to. I mean, it's a kind of letting go of everything and not feeling that I have any responsibility for my, my life or anything. Well, can you be irresponsible from now on? Let's say you're convinced that you don't have any free will, but can you be irresponsible from now on? Is that in your programming? Are you a person who's irresponsible? I can't answer you because I don't know really. Right, okay. Have you been responsible up to this point in your life? Very much. I mean, I have uh, I have had children and I, I have had the feeling of a strong uh, responsibility to take care of them and to do what was in my power to do for them. So, yeah. Yeah, I get it. So, yeah, where does... Well, do you know anybody who... Do you have a friend or someone you know that they're kind of irresponsible and they don't really take care of things? I, I have met people who has been acting without the same um, kind of responsibility to their children. And you know, because I have been I have been working with children who has been uh, taken care of in social uh, places because that their parents couldn't do it. So, right. yeah, yeah. So, yes. Yeah. Right. So, what inspires you? What motivates you and moves you to be responsible? Something is motivating you to be in that way. Yeah, sometimes it's my thinking, but but the most of the time it's a it's an inner feeling who drives me. Exactly. Something yeah. something inside doesn't yeah. feel right. Yeah. Something very strong in there does not feel right for you to not taking care of business. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing, something very strong inside the other person is, is not moving him to take care of business. It's just yeah. not motivating him to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I understand. What I'm saying, what I'm suggesting is each and every one, if you're interested, look into that. Look at this possibility. Look at this idea of what I'm sharing with you and examine it for yourself. Get into it and examine it and see if it has any validity. Because you have to also examine that how many times in your life you decided you're going to go in this direction and you ended up in that direction. How many times I've said starting tomorrow, I'm not going to be smoking cigarettes. Starting tomorrow, I'm not going to be drinking coffee. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be doing yoga. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be going to the gym. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, just the list keeps going on and on and on and on. And then the next day you get up, the first thing you do is you pick up the cigarette pack and smoke a cigarette or drink coffee exactly what you said you're not going to do. Or, I don't know, it's like I'm meeting a lot of people and say, oh, yeah, you know, I wanted to go travel the world and do this and that, but then 
you know, I got pregnant at age 18 and I ended up staying in my little town, uh, marrying the high school sweetheart and having three kids by age 26. And I didn't do anything that I wanted to do or didn't live my dreams or whatever. How many times you met people or yourself that you wanted to go in this direction and you ended up in this place. And I look at myself because that's my own point of reference. And it's full of stories that I was trying to go here and I ended up here. I wanted to do this and I ended up doing this. And having five near-death experiences, something much bigger has saved me through all the craziness of myself that I've experienced of being crazy and doing crazy things. Something is just wanted me to carry on and not end the life of this unit for some reason. I don't know why. I can't figure out why, and it doesn't matter, but something wants this unit to continue doing what it's doing and not end it. Believe me, it had opportunities to end it. Yeah. Yet, there is a sense that you're the personal of the personal authorship. There's a sense that we have that we're the one who are making the choices and we're the calls. There's a sense in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And I understand what you're saying, yeah. And believe me, I've experienced both, both sides of parts of saying, oh, I'm not the doer and so whatever, and being reckless or doing whatever, not being considerate, not paying attention, uh, not being loving, being an asshole, being abusive, whether with myself or other people. And, and using the teachings as a cop-out and that also is a part of it. You may, have, you may go through it, but ultimately everything comes back to one place is that if the unit, it's conditioning, it's programming, it's DNA is to be in a set way, like being responsible and or semi-responsible, or it's clean or it's tidy or whatever, it's gonna continue its programming. But liberation comes in the recognition, in the realization that there is no personal and you cannot become liberated and become free and realized as long as you believe or you're operating from this place that you are the one who is doing things and you're separated from the entire existence. As long as you have that mindset, you are not gonna awaken because how can you be separated from the entire existence and you can just call the shots on your own. Everything you do is depending on everything else in life. Everything you do. Every moment of life that you're living, it's all depending on everything else in your surrounding. 